up, everybody? This is uh, Desmond De La Ghetto. About to start a new Let's Play. 688 attack sub. This is for boring ass games. I had to turn it, turn it down a little bit. And man, this this game right here, man, this is one of those those struggle games. Oh man. So that, yeah, let's get started, man. Just let y'all know, um, this is a submarine simulation game made 1991 by Sega on the Sega Genesis. This game also came out on Amiga and I think some other uh, personal computer systems back in like '89. And uh, this is actually um, this is a good game. I mean, back then it was kind of kind of tough because uh, uh, um, I didn't have a copy of this game. It was my, one of my cousins, and they um, they had this in Sonic the Hedgehog, and I don't even know how they got this game. Maybe they found it somewhere, and the sticker on the cartridge is all like messed up. And uh, they used to play this sometimes and just fail at it, and I'll try to play it and just fail at it and um, it was just a complex game. They didn't really have the manual. Or, no, they didn't have the manual at all. They just had the the freaking, just the cartridge. And they don't really explain a lot of the things in-game. So I decided now that I'm older, you know, to do a Let's Play on this game for, you know, for boring-ass games. Because this game is it's pretty, pretty boring, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. And I did a bunch of research. I watched some other videos of people playing and seeing people just comment negatively and give people down votes and stuff like that because they didn't really know. So I decided to take it upon myself and try to study and research this game and try to play it. So in this video, this is going to be more of a tutorial kind of introduction. And then maybe after this one, um, you know, maybe part two. Or three, depending on how long this takes, you know, I'll do some missions. And if you want to just use the tutorial for you can try for yourself, go right ahead. But in the missions um, videos, I will complete them. Might take me a couple tries off screen, but I will definitely do it. So why don't we start by showing y'all the inside of the 688 um, sub, and we're just gonna start this mission. And I, I probably won't finish this mission. I'll probably even just fail it just to show y'all, you know, the inside of the, the different stations and whatnot and what things do. So what we're going to do is we're going to begin game. And first when you start, you're going to have to go all the way to your left and get the mission orders from the captain. Alright, welcome to the North Atlantic, Captain. Oh, I'm the Captain, my bad. <laughs> you are to begin a training exercise off the coast of the southernmost island in the Faroe Island chain. There are three decommissioned Forest Sherman class destroyers making their way northwest through the island chain. They have been configured with remote. Autopilot systems to allow them some simple maneuvering capabilities during the exercise. Radar and sonar on the ships is also controlled remotely. The surface ships and a LAMPS-3 helicopter in the area will attempt to identify your boat at which point the exercise will end. The underwater sonar surveillance systems as so as the US will be monitoring the exercise offshore and act as referee. It will end the exercise with three sonar blasts if one of the ships or the lamps have identified your position. The exercise will also end after fifteen minutes. Your mission is to destroy each of your warships within a lot of time. It may be a tough job, act torpedoes in the water, but too much noise created by speeds. Maneuvering may alert your opponent 
to your location by sonar and a rays periscope will leave you susceptible to identification by radar you'll decide how you approach the warships stay low and quiet if you want to stand a chance the weapons range is clear and the weapons are free show those skimmers and fly boys what silent and deadly really means and, you know you try to you know put a little pizzazz in the mission uh, briefing so basically what he says in the, in the gist of it is sneak up on three ships take them out that's it don't get caught um, don't make too much noise so first what we're going to do is I'm going to show you all the uh, sonar and the sonar is passive it's a passive sonar it listens to what's inside of the water and you see right here you see these three targets that basically the sonar are getting um, sound waves from these three targets. We don't know what they are yet, but if we move close enough and we keep listening, we'll eventually get some more information on them. And then you'll see at the top, um, I'm using my other mouse right, right click, it's a little bigger. You'll see target, um, you'll see some more information about the, the, the target. The analyze, yeah, this is for um, when we uh, when we place a target and we analyze what exactly it is. And uh, this right here, this is like a frequency table over here. And yeah, they don't tell you this in the game, but from what I understand, this is a low frequency and this is high. Low frequencies, I, I believe, are like ships and submarines, and high ones are like it could be anything from fish to torpedoes. So it can be you know, a, l a little difficult to know what exactly is going on. Um, and right here, filter, uh, you can set the the different frequency passes. Like, oh, oh, actually, right here we just have a target. You see the letter A. So what we're going to do is going to select target. And then it will show us some information up at the top. And it says unknown surface contact. So there may be a ship. We don't know what it is. We have no clue. But yeah, the filter sets the high and low frequency. See, right here, high pass. We we can't see anything because it's not a high frequency. But if we go to band pass, this kind of mid-range frequency. Um, target pulse is to make the sonar active. So what it'll do is it'll send out a sonar pulse, a sound wave, and then it will um, bring us back what it is, what um, they have found. And oh, we we got some new targets right up here, and okay. B, C, and and these are the ships right here. I I, I know these are the ships. So um, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna move up a little bit after I tell tell y'all about the toy array. Toy array is like a long ass string of microphones that travel behind your submarine to pick up more um, more sound for your sonar. And we probably won't use that right now. The disadvantage of using that is it slows down your submarine. And you can cut it, you know, to and it takes a couple minutes for it to happen. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the top-down view navigation system. Set a waypoint. Set a waypoint is basically like oh, autopilot. Yeah. So what we're going to, uh, of course, the action we're going to do. We're going to set a waypoint right over here. You can set two of them. So we're going to set Select waypoint. another one, maybe uh, up here next to waypoint this one. Um, oh, time compression it speeds up time like you see right here we had you know 218 to 20 so if we turn this on look how it's going to skip it's going to skip by like four but since i'm doing this tutorial i'm going to turn it off right now uh plotting um all tracks means it shows where um it shows like a print of where all the targets have been target tracks it shows the tracks of where the targets have been well you, if you put all of them it's basically going to show us and um, the targets plot projection uh, it shows it doesn't have it right now but it, it'll just kind of show us um, where we're going to be heading time uh, projection uh, I'll, I'll show you that a little later it's, it's basically going to just show us where we're going to be in um, a couple minutes from the plot projection autopilot turns off the waypoints so we can pilot it ourselves and where we're going to go to next we're going to go to the station where we're going to start steering and moving the submarine so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually 
bring us at one third speed so we're going to be heading to our waypoint and as you see right here um oops let me dang, I, I got two uh let, let me show you with the the other um the other pointer like this is our plot projection this ain't nothing is not none of us is not a um, um not a target not a torpedo it's just one of us and it shows where we're heading so you see it's the the white dot is heading to number one and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in now we got a little closer and while I'm at this keypad station right here I'm gonna show y'all what it means I means in so you go in out means zoom out H means to turn off the HUD where you see the direction speed and depth uh, and C means the contour map it's pretty cool what it basically is it shows kind of a first person view of you know digital imaging of the submarine and if you press T it'll bring us back to the top down view now when you uh, go to the contour map if you press uh, P it, it rotates the ship I mean yeah it rotates the the image so it'll bring us it'll show us going to the left and if we hit S shows us going to the to the right you go to front it shows us the right to the front and you see our target right here now in this image you're not gonna actually see anything you, you're just gonna see just the the target if it's uh, confirmed or not you're not gonna see a submarine you're not gonna see a torpedo is it's digital imaging so we're gonna turn this off go back to oh P means periscope we're not at periscope depth just yet we're, we will use that in a second so we'll, we'll show that but let's go back to top-down view and um, right here is this is the rudder this is where we're going to um, later if we turn off all of pilot we're going to go left we're going to go right and we'll use the um, plot projection I mean the the, the white like aim or whatever to work and steer the ship and we're almost at our first wave point over here auto depth we go down to 150 feet uh, I'm not gonna do that just yet periscope depth um, I think we're there right now actually I'm not sure and emergency surface is when the whole submarine goes into the uh, above the surface of the um, of the water not gonna use that in a while um, okay over here um, this is our different speeds we reverse reverse um, I haven't really been using that yet it causes a bunch of noise because what happens is the propellers they spin the opposite direction stop means to stop so we can just stop right now let me use the end game pointer just to stop um, and two thirds means goes two thirds speed standard to standard speed full is full speed and flank is basically just like like putting your foot on the gas pedal or whatever just uh, just you know just accelerating really 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 fast so what we're going to do we're just going to go back to one third speed and uh captivation level um ooh i think that means i haven't it's funny when i've been playing this i haven't got to this part um as far as captivation level um, you know what what we can do is i'm going to stop i'm going to pause the game and i'm going to show y'all the uh the manual the pdf file so it's going to go with image Alright, now let's. Oh, got it right here. How convenient. Okay, um, let me zoom. Uh, zoom in. Alright, great. Okay, captivation level gauge. This gauge monitors the noise produced by uh, captivation. The uh, captivation. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Captivation. Results from partial vacuums that form around the propeller blades when the propeller is moving faster than the water around it can flow. So yeah, basically it's just the it monitors um, uh, noise around the propellers pretty much. Since the bubbles produced by captiv captivitation are very noisy, you want to avoid it as if it were death itself. Okay. Yep. All right. That's that's pretty. That's pretty straightforward. So the captivitation is basically 
um, lets you know the noise uh, made by your uh, your propellers if you're going at a certain speed. So we're going to pause the game. Um, oh, we're going to keep going, and as you see right now, my my targets are they're they're gone, but we'll try to get them back soon. And the thing is, I can't I can't send a pulse because what happens is if you remember the mission briefing is that I'm supposed to sneak up, and if I send a pulse out, what's going to happen is they're going to get that sound wave and be notified of where I am. So it's not really a good idea. I can kind of push back a little bit. And oh, also just to let you know, the sonar, the passive sonar, it does have a range, I believe, of 20 miles, 15, 20 miles. So if you're like if you're in the middle of nowhere and you don't have anything around you, you're not going to get anything. So you're going to have to move around to kind of pick up more on the uh, on the sonar. Uh, what's the next? Oh, we can go to uh, periscope right here. And actually, why don't we um why don't we go back and stop the submarine? Let's see if we can see anything through the periscope. Alright, now we're at periscope. Blue sky, blue water. And we're rotating, rotating. Can't see anything just yet. Using a periscope is a little trick, not tricky, um, it's a little risky because it can kind of basically give out where you're at. So, what we're going to do is we're going to just keep going, go to our second waypoint. And for what I understand, if you see these, um, you remember when we set the target tracks, they have been moving. So, we're, we kind of have to hustle up a little bit, but if we don't get some, it's okay, because this is still a tutorial. I'll show you all some other stations while we're moving about right here. This is the health status level of the ship, and if we get hit by a torpedo or if we scratch the uh, ground floor. We reached the waypoint, Captain. Okay, we, up, we just got to um, a waypoint and we're going to the next one. Uh, but anyways, yeah, it shows different parts of the ship. And if we get damaged, some parts of that ship may be um, non-operational. So um, if you're on a mission where there will be some sort of uh, torpedo fire from you or the, um, or the enemy, You'll, you'll have to check this out, but a lot of times <laughs> you'll probably be dead by then, so uh, it, it's kind of a, you know, a spot where um, it's not really used too, too much. Um, oh, over here is our uh, torpedo uh, station, so what we're going to do is we're going to set a torpedo. We're going to set this one, set this one, set this one. Um, uh, oh, these are auxiliary tubes. Um, auxiliary tubes, honestly, I, I never really use these just yet. But what we can do is we can find out what exactly they are. So let's find the uh, auxiliary tube. Oh, here we go. Right here. Right here. Hmm. Down just a little bit. All right, I'm trying to show it. Oh, right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, it keeps it keeps skipping it. Well, basically, I'll just read what they say. Um, yeah, the auxiliary tubes. Um, yeah, they're I, th I think they're they're like noise makers or something. yeah they're they're um, a kind of oh here we go ah almost had it, almost had it. oh here we go here we go here we go here we go all right maybe I need to zoom out a little bit okay here we go um, 68 is outfitted with four main torpedo tubes and two auxiliary tubes for noise makers um, the Alpha which is the other ship has six torpedo tubes at the bow only, but the six tube launches noisemakers. Blah, blah blah. Arm weapons are stored in uh, zero tubes. You have to order your. Blah, blah, blah. 
Okay. All right. Well, I think those are just alternative, um, alternative uh, torpedoes and missiles we can use. The Norse Maker. That's that's from what I understand good for causing distraction. But we're not going to use that in this mission. So we're not going to load them up. Um, so Peter Control, you select the target and then you direct it. Um, donate. Um, excuse me, not donate. <laughs> uh, detonate is for later and search is. And um, I haven't really used search that much, so we'll probably use it in a later mission, and I'll probably explain it just then. Um, so right now we're still kind of traveling up. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And we have a target right here. Not sure what it is. So what I'm going to do is see if I can poke out with the periscope. And see if we can see anything. Okay, we didn't see anything just yet. Yeah, those ships, they probably just, probably, just, oh, they're all the way up there. Okay. Because I see um, D, so if I, I'm going to set a target. Select target. And I'm going to, okay, Sherman class destroyer. All right, that's um, one of the ships we have to destroy. Lost sonar contact, sir. And we'll get sonar car contact again pretty soon. Set Select another waypoint. waypoint. Set it right in front of this one. Waypoint set, Captain. And what actually what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to speed up a little bit. And as you see, our time is actually almost up, unfortunately, as far as the uh, the mission goes. But that was that was kind of my fault. I was kind of just showing y'all the uh, the different functions of the ship. So yeah, we're, we'll probably just fail this mission. And yeah, we're gonna speed up a little bit more. I'm trying to think, are there any other places on this um, on the ship that I should uh, explain? Nope, I think everything is uh, good. So we're gonna stay right here at the at the periscope station. And let's see if we see anything. Oh, here we go. We see one, one target. Hey, yep, and that's the Sherman class destroyer. Target acquired. And what we're gonna do is, oh, we need to arm a weapon. Lost sonar contact, sir. Yeah, we're gonna arm a weapon. And why don't we throw a torpedo out there? And actually, we can do it from here, too. Select target. So we can use the top-down view, select like the target. Uh, and the range is, uh, I believe, 10 miles, is, and it's going, uh, I don't know if that's miles per hour or not, so whatever, but uh, <laughs> um, we're going to just use that number for what it is. Um, depth, there at the surface of the water. Torpedo launch, Captain. And we're going to set a torpedo. That's launched. Oh, here goes another target. Lost sonar contact, sir. And we lost the contact. Select but we'll target. get it again. But as far as I know, that that second ship is at uh, this second waypoint. So what we can do is we can just simply just poke our head out real quick. Hopefully we won't get spotted. And that should be Select the... Target. C target. Oh, this is the B target. target cool. So what we're gonna do is just gonna launch, Torpedo launch Captain. one at that one. Lost sonar contact, sir. So right now we have two torpedoes in the water, and yeah, they can be lost if the targets move around. So it's best to keep an eye out on them. And we're gonna just. Keep zooming in a little bit, kind of see exactly where they're going. All right, cool. Oh, just to let y'all know, the different depths of water, the the dark colors, that is deep water. The lighter colors, those are more shallow depths. So uh, dark is deep, light is shallow, 
and yes you can scrape the bottom of the boat if you go down too too deep in the water there are some missions where we're going to have to go down deep in, sh in very very deep waters to evade certain things but if you go down too deep and you go deep in these light color ranges you might hit the bottom of the ship and you will crash and destroy the ship so be extremely careful and the all right let's go to the so let's go to the waypoint center or the top down view and these uh target tracks all tracks are showing where um, our targets have been very useful and as you see um, i'm using the other pointer um, our our mission is about to end you know we're gonna fail the mission pretty much um, oh let me show you a time projection now you see the white this this white um, white icon right here so if I set the time we projection the it can it, it shows me where we're gonna be at in whatever uh, amount of time so yeah we're about to end this mission right here just want to show you all the time projection real quick Alright, time's up. Alright, let's read this. Sinking just one ship during the training exercise is considered substandard. I can see that you and your officers are in need of further training before we give you full-time control of a billion dollar submarine. Report to my office upon your return to port. Yes, and if you fail a mission, it'll just bring you right back to the mission selection. And you'll see when you pass a mission uh, what they, uh, you know, what they what they show you and if you die what they show you I'll, I'll probably you know let you uh, find that out um, in this uh, second half of this tutorial I'm, I'm just gonna show what's inside the alpha ship which is the Russian ship so why don't we go up in there and yes everything is kind of like rotated around but actually it just has the same functions the only difference is, as you will see, once we get to our, um, our briefing, as you see, I'm using the other pointer, is that these, all the, uh, the letters are in Russian, <laughs> in Russian um, uh, lettering, which can be a little confusing because, you know, you, you, you know, because it's, it's not English, you don't, it's hard to know what it, what it is, so. But as long as you, they, they'll show you on the bottom what it is. They'll translate it. Um, yep, the Soviet Navy congratulates the um, Leninsky Komoso on her success so far in uh, monitoring the American submarine. We are currently trying to send you support. The Leninsky Komoso is directed to continue tracking the Americans until further notice. Stay within five miles so that you may fire on command, Captain. Do not disgrace your country and Navy by losing your quarry in the narrow channels of the Faroe Islands. You are not authorized to launch torpedoes unless fired upon. Basically, in this mission, what we have to do is just chase the 688 attack sub, which was the sub we uh, played earlier, and um, just stay within five miles range stay within um, sonar range so right now we're in the sonar um, station and uh, like I said before everything is in Russian which is a, a little a little weird a little confusing but it, it has the same uh, functionalities right here um, it's like the target and if you just heard the the voiceover is in Russian too. Pretty cool. And um, right here, um, I believe, oh, it's sonar ping, and it shows what's in the water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a target. 
And I think that's our sub that we are going to be um, chasing. And this is um, uh, deploying the toy array. And this is the, um, I believe the, maybe the band pass, low pass. Um, first and foremost, I, I would like to actually move. Because in this mission, I think, um, oh fuck, we're about to actually get hit. We're going to get hit. Yeah, you see that target? Yep, we got, we're about to get hit by a torpedo. God damn it. Ah, uh, yeah. Yep. And I think that might mess up one of our stations. So let's just keep moving. And basically it's the same as the um, Los Angeles 688 um, uh, submarine. Same autopilot rudders, rudders the same speed um, systems. Uh, this is um, go down 150 feet or 50 meters. This is periscope. This is emergency uh, surface right here zoom in and out on the top down view up here is the contour map we can't look side to side unfortunately and I believe this oh this is the HUD down here is the autopilot we'll keep this on for now um, where else can we go oh let's set up some torpedo so yes it's down here this time and I think this is to um, you know launch a target and I believe this is to detonate search and damn some other well basically the, the same options as a uh, Los Angeles sub um, uh, as far as the the torpedoes go I think search direct detonate and whatever and again the console map is here we have a couple targets let's see what these targets are real quick and again we might fail this mission all right a couple of unknown surface contacts these are probably one of these are probably is the sub we have to keep in range so basically we're just going to just keep setting a couple waypoints maybe set one ahead um oh yeah we're at the top down view again we can this is, I think, to keep the, uh, I mean, target plotting to show the the tracks. And this is the projected, um, yeah, uh, yeah, that's right. This is for the projected um, uh, target to, to show us where we're going to go. And again, we can project it to three minutes, five minutes. And right here is uh, time compression, speed up time. What are we going to do in this one? Uh, where else? Oh, this is back to the mission briefing. Uh, over here. Oh, this is sonar. Over here is our status. Oh, yeah, we can show where we got hit. So our, our hull is damaged. Good that nothing else have been, um, has been damaged because... We, if something else was damaged, we we may not be able to. Okay, like I was gonna, like I was gonna say, the uh, sonar is okay. What else? Total where is done. Periscope is okay. Okay, we're all okay. We just got surface damage. It was just a little, a little chink in the armor. And right here we at the periscope station, so we can poke out. Oh man, bunch of ships. Let's see what these are. Uh, merchant ship, another merchant ship. So that's C, A, then B. Okay. Let's poke down. And, um, yeah, we don't know where the attack sub is. The, uh, the Los Angeles 688. All these merchant ships are kind of around it, but I'm, I'm kind of guessing that they're, um, like northeast. Okay. So we're gonna zoom in a little bit. Alright. And there it oh, okay. We're we're done with this mission. <laughs> I think they uh 
I, I think we left without um, setting them in our range for a certain amount of time. They said we had to keep them in range for I think a few minutes, five minutes. I mean five miles within a couple minutes. All right, uh, Captain, were you waiting for the Americans to pull over and invite you in for tea and caviar? Have you? hindered the fight of socialism <laughs> and inflated the imperialist ego by allowing the swine to slip from your grasp. Return to port quickly. Oh, I couldn't read the rest of that. But yeah, that's basically the gist of it. Of the 6088 um, attack sub and the Alpha Russian sh um, submarine. So, in the next video, I will do the first mission of um, the 688 uh, submarine for torpedo 89 and then I also do um, uh, seven uh, seven hundred up oh, kind of look let me see let me see what that is okay so it's, it's the same ship all right it's basically um, a different model okay I was I was kind of tripping I thought maybe those three kinds of ships so it, um, let's go back to mission selection okay but yeah um, I'll, I'll do these I'll, I'll do these missions um, at the current moment I am like still um, kind of figuring out a lot of these other ones but I have completed a fair amount so in the next video or two I will do these missions from front to back and like I said before if you want to do these missions yourself if you feel that this tutorial has helped you enough where you can just try to play around with these yourself please go ahead and do that and I will also link the manual, the PDF of the uh, the manual that I found. It's for Amiga systems, but a lot of the explanations and, and gameplay concepts uh, still work for the Sega Genesis version. Or if you are playing the Amiga version or whatever, if you got a hold of it. But yeah, that's about it for this tutorial introduction video. Again, uh, my name is Desmond Daylight Ghetto. This is uh, Born As Games Tech Sub. 688 attacks up um, for Genesis, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Alright, peace.